it's the most beautiful sound because there is no sound. I don't really know how to make sense of that feeling. But if you ever have the opportunity, try just sitting at the bottom of a pool. Do not drown yourself. I do not condone drowning. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another reaction review commentary whatever you would like to consider a video this video comes to us by none other than a patreon they go by the name of annie big shout out to you annie but before we do hop into this video not only is annie the only one sponsoring this video we also have our sponsor our collaborant partner flippy loretti they sell very beautiful antique watches um and you guys know i'm very honest with my reviews so when i do get sponsorships and stuff like that i'm also very honest about them for the price point that you are getting for watches like these the price is amazing all right, you are not going to find watches this high quality for this price point anywhere else. I can promise you that um, there is a 15% discount code provided in the description. So if you guys want to go check out the watches, use my 15% discount code. Again, that is in the description. But again, for anyone who would like to request future videos, definitely become a Patreon. The link is down in the description, comment section, or you can just search this up in your taskbar above. But yeah, cut along your short. Lehigh, hello. Let's hop into this. Linton Wilson presents to you another banger. I haven't checked out Lehigh in a while. Hollow. She got on the Converse. Tippy toe. Oh, if you don't see a problem, right? <laughs> do you know you down bad when you're wearing your Converse like that? Lehigh, come, what are you doing? Why? Come on, man. Wear them properly. They're not slides. My OCD, man. This is a nice scenery right here, though. Looking over. Okay, we got a feather falling. Feather falling. Mmm. That piano. You know what this also works for? Um, Listen, listen. Listen. Why? Say. And it works for that too. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, you see the, the crazy thing is I've seen Lee Hai on a few treasure episodes, um, a few win who is next episodes. I've kind of gotten just used to seeing her as a figure at YG, and you know, I don't really dive into her music as much as I should. I have a few Lee Hai songs on my playlist, but I know she has an entire discography that I just haven't checked out yet. Listening to her voice is incredibly mesmerizing. I completely forgot how beautiful her voice is. This is this is like a fresh start for me again. Okay. Okay. I'm telling you, the way she switched from Korean to English, that was amazing. Hey. I like the I like the backing track. It's smooth. Listen to that. Okay. Not even basing in the sunlight. Bro, you see the crazy thing about this song right here is it contrasts her song Breath or Breathe. I forgot the title of it. It contrasts it so well in the sense that, you know, one day it will stop. There's actually this quote that I have from this book right here. Um, I forgot where it is. I think I mentioned it in a past video. Yeah, it says it right here. Fire cools. Water seeks its own level. No matter how extreme a situation is, it will change. You know, it can't continue forever. So no matter how gruesome a situation it is that you're in, it will not continue forever. Everything has its end. Everything has its, you know, cool waters. It's leveling. It's rising. Everything has that. Everything in life has complications. But with complications comes peace. You know, you need to go through complications to reach a state of peace. You know, you don't just get one and not the other. You're going to get both of them. So even if you're going through a shitty point in your life right now, if you are going through crap right now, you are going to reach a state of peace. Push through it right now. It's just testing you. The universe is testing you. You know, if you believe in God, religion, whatever, God, spiritual universe, whatever it is, because the universe needs to test you. If you want something, if you want to reach a state in your life, and the universe knows you're not ready for that, it's going to test you. It's going to give you all these trials for you to overcome in order for you to become the person that you need to be in order to get to that situation where you can find peace, right? That is what that is what life is about. Testing, 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 testing. Hey. Oh, 
Oh my god. That little riff? Hey. And I'm gonna stop I love that. Ah. Stop thinking about you, my baby. Come on. Why? Wow. I really love the progression of Lehi's videos, man. Lehi. Is it that important to compare who's better between others and me or me and other? You know, that's interesting. You know, I'm not fully grasping what she's saying. Maybe the captions are a bit off, but I just feel like she's talking about the ideology of comparison. Is it okay to compare me to other people's lives? Look at it like this, right? I, I came across this video and the, the quote ideally said, nine plus one equals 10 and two plus eight also equals 10. You know, two different paths, two different things all leading to the exact same thing. The fact that it equals 10. When you compare yourself to somebody else, you're comparing your chapter to somebody else's chapter 52. The fact about comparison is that you do not know what anybody else is going through. You know, social media is a front. Everything is a front. Nobody is really what they seem like through social media or a vast majority of people, at least. Sometimes people are just going through hell, but on social media, they're portrayed in a different sense. So when you are watching them and you're wishing you were living that life, do not do that because you don't know what they're going through. You need to stop comparing yourself because everybody's going through trials. Everybody's going through tribulations. Everybody's fighting their own demons, just like you, right? Do not compare your chapter to somebody else's chapter because no matter how long it takes, you're eventually going to reach a state of happiness and calm if you consciously seek it. Right. But you're not going to reach it if you shit on yourself 24 seven. If you continue to compare yourself, you're not going to reach that. The only way to reach your goals, the only way to reach that level of peace is to find that within you. Once you take your time, once you find that peace within you, you're going to live a better life. You're going to stop comparing yourself. And you're going to stop giving a shit about what other people are doing. Mm. Let's keep going, man. I went on a little rant there. A little tangent. <laughs> Oh, she went up and then da 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 da. That was so nice. Da, da, da. I love that. I love Lehi. <laughs> I love her. I, one of her songs, Breathe, is actually one of my favorite songs that I've ever listened to within the K R and B, K pop, whatever it is scene. Music in general, Lehi's Breathe is one of my favorite all time songs ever. All right. But now I'm listening to Hollow and I'm thinking, bro, I, I'm thinking Lehi is just going to add to my entire collection of favorite songs. Damn, I'm loving the I'm loving the message behind this song. It's so passionate. You know, it's so true. It's OK to be yourself. It's OK to love yourself. And, you know, stop comparing yourself. Stop trying to be like other people. Love yourself. I can feel the music video is just contrasting the song so well. Hey. Oh, the riffing. Fun fact being underwater like that is the most peace you will ever find. I can promise you, when I used to be younger, I used to sit at the bottom of the water, closing my eyes, sometimes even opening my eyes. Not in chlorine, though, because that's going to kill you. That's, that's going to hurt like shit. But yeah, I used to sit at the bottom of the pool, and I would close my eyes. And because the water is, like, flooding your eardrums, you can't really hear shit. Everything is just like, mmm. It's the most beautiful sound because there is no sound. I don't really know how to make sense of that feeling. But if you ever have the opportunity, try just sitting at the bottom of a pool. Do not drown yourself. I do not condone drowning, but just try it. It's gonna stop. I wonder if she's contrasting her older self to her younger self, if they're both her. Maybe it's her older self and her younger self. Okay. Okay. I have a... 
I have an idea what's happening. Sorry for pausing so damn much. Uh, but again, there are time codes there for you guys who want to skip directly to the reaction. Time codes are there for a reason. Um, if this is her younger self talking to her older self or her older self talking to your younger self, they say your older self is the higher version of you. So when you say, I'm speaking to my higher self, I'm speaking to the, the person who's higher than me, you're speaking to your future self, your person who's already gone through all the trials and tribulations. Um, and they're, they're basically talking to your younger self. Have you ever had gut instincts? They say that is your future, you know, telling you about your present and things to avoid doing. You know, your higher self is you. So maybe this is just her, her higher self, or maybe just two different people. I don't know who that is. I, I don't know. I love this, man. This chorus is so beautiful. Come on, Lehigh. Hey. The way she's riding the instrumental right now. The loneliness feels the same. Come on. Ah! Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, there's more. So the feather finally falls. You know, that's a good analogy. That's a good analogy. Everything grounds itself. You know, no matter how long something stays in the air, it's bound to fall back to the ground. Maybe I'm street, uh, maybe I'm reaching there, but it's true. You know, you can't stay in the air forever. Everything does eventually come back to the ground. Helium balloons end up popping once they reach a certain height. Things like that. But the song Lehigh Hollow, it was such a beautiful song, man. Let's talk about it. First of all, I just want to say Lehigh is a genius, you know, among geniuses when it comes to her ability to provide a song that touches you. You know, she's a genius among geniuses. The, the way she flows through her choruses, the way she controls, you know, her peaking, you know, it's so amazing. Her dynamics are insane. The way she's able to go from those high notes to those low notes, so effortless. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a song about being yourself, you know, appreciating where you are right now and just being here. You know, you don't need to stress so much because everything, all the pain, all the suffering that you're going through, if you consciously seek to better yourself, if you consciously seek to stop comparing yourself, you know, you're going to live an entirely new life. You're going to live a better life. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, no pressure, you know, but subscribing definitely helps out the channel. It definitely helps me continue doing what it is I love doing, which is reviewing, commentating, reacting, whatever it is you would like to consider it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, present moment is all you have. So enjoy it while you can. Smile more, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yo, I like that word. Hold on. Pororo. Pororo. Sounds like an animal. Pororo. Sounds like a... Yare, yare. Pororo, pororo. Pororo. You remember the bug guy? The guy who, like, pororo. His shirt, like, all the way. The bug guy who's, like, super low-key. That's the bitch. I'll put a picture up of you. Yeah.